sallallahu wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ayul ahbab death steadily approaches us and the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam said that in this this life there are two things that many people take for granted and those two things are our free time and our health so since we're limited in both it's imperative that we try our best to do righteous deeds and this is advice firstly and foremost to myself first and foremost to myself and then to my brothers and sisters in Islam ayul ahbab listen to the statement of hasan al basri as was reported by ibn abi dunya in his book Dhamim al-Dunya, or Dhim al-Dunya. So he said, it is reported that Al-Hasan al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, once said during the funeral of a man, May Allah have mercy on the man who works for the likes of this day. For today you are able to do what these brothers of yours, the residents of these graves, cannot do. So make full use of your health and free time before the day of distress and accounts comes upon you. Rahimahullah ta'ala ala Hassan al-Basri. Ayyul Ahbab, this statement of Hassan al-Basri, one of the salaf of this ummah, the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is an illustration of the importance of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it also points to how the salaf restricted themselves to the ahadith, the ayat from the Qur'an, which is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that they used those alfaz. They use those same terms and those same statements that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used in order to build their Aqidah, their creed and their Aqidah and their Minhaj and methodology. All of these things came from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and came from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. And this is why, Rahimahum Allah, and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala have mercy upon us and you, Ameen, and may Allah bless us with a class with Thabat, Allah Sunnah, that ayul ahbab that we have to strive our best to use our time and use our health and use our wealth in lawful means and to use them in the best way that which we can which is in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with taqwa Allah azza wa jal and taqwa ayul ahbab is adhering to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fearing his prohibitions. So if you're using your health and you're using your free time and you're using your wealth for that, then you fit within the context of this beautiful advice that Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala was giving to the people uh, in, in his time and making a point that those people who already preceded, meaning they had already deceased, that their time is up. Except for the three things that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in another authentic hadith that was related in Sahih Muslim, where the Messenger of Allah Alaihi Salatu Wasallam said, أو إذا مات المرء إن قطع عمله إلا من ثلاث وكما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم صدق جارية وعلم ينتفع بي أو ولد صالح يدعو له رواه مسلم إن الحديث of the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم it shows us again these very importance of how we use our time in this, this life. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that when a person dies, that his deeds stop except for three. 
continuous charity, or, uh, or knowledge that the people benefit from, or a righteous child that supplicates for, for him. Ayol Ahbab, we have to do good before it's too late. And as Hassan al-Basri said, May Allah have mercy on the man who works for the likes of this day. For today you are able to do what these brothers of yours, the residents of the graves, cannot do. So make full use of your health and free time before the day of distress and accounts comes upon you. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from everything that displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.